I ended up finding out last week, literally last Tuesday, just like everybody else, when Ozzy revealed to the world that he had Parkinson's disease. And to me, I was a little bit surprised. I don't know, not necessarily shocked, but a little bit surprised uh, just because I'm not, and I say surprised, but not necessarily shocked just because last year I found out and knew about like all this news about you know all these different different health problems that he has had within the past year and I looked up on, on Google what Parkinson's disease is and it says that Parkinson's disease is a progressive nervous system disorder that affects movement symptoms start gradually sometimes starting with a barely noticeable tremor in just one hand tremors are common but the disorder also commonly causes stiffness or slowing of movement and in the good morning america that ozzy was in stage two of parkinson's disease which once again goes back to the stiffness and or the slowing of movements and i watched that video and you know i definitely paid attention to ozzy and in his condition and he does seem a little stiff and he does seem to be a little slow of movement but i also think aside from the parkinson's disease i also think that's just because of him you know kind of being up there in age now and just you know getting older and just it being an inconvenience to get older and i just want to say as far as giving my two cents that I am obviously not glad that he has Parkinson's disease, but with him having this, it does give me like another reason, even though I can just pray for him in general, but it gives me another reason to pray for him and his family because he's not the only person going through it. He's the one that has it, but his family has to deal with it with him alongside him and since I know about it and since I really truly am a fan of him I'm dealing with it too but I go to God about it and I go to God about everything so why shouldn't I go to God about this too so you know he is always in my thoughts and prayers and you know I think about him when I think about him and um you know, I just pray to God about it, give it to God. And I hope that if he hasn't already, that Ozzy Osbourne himself and even his family, uh, but especially Ozzy himself, because I think it's important for people to pray for themselves. But I just hope he gets to a point where he, you know, gives it to God and calls on God and relies on God and depends on God, especially if he believes in God himself. And the reason why I know that is because I am actually subscribed to a Christian YouTuber and like a Christian like evangelist figure type person and his name is Ryan Reese and shout out to Ryan Reese by the way and there was a video of his back in 2016 and I actually remember the video so I'll make sure that I link it you know in my you know comments or description you know or whatever like the title of the video it talks about like music and being a light and um he talks about Ozzy Osbourne and he's saying that like someone like a friend or somebody of Ryan Reese who actually was able to talk to Ozzy Osbourne about God and it says that Ozzy Osbourne believed in God and Jesus Christ but and I obviously definitely think that's true and I am very stoked and ecstatic and excited about that but now as a believer to me in my opinion it is and it's really beyond an opinion but i'll just say in my opinion that i really feel like it's important for him to like you know become saved and even though he's only 70 something years old and even though you know he's like three times and more than three times almost four times my age and even though he's a celebrity and even though I don't know him, to me, all that stuff doesn't really matter. Like, I care about who Ozzy Osbourne, the person is first before Ozzy Osbourne, the musician. And yeah, they're like the same, but to me, to a degree, they're 
different. And to me, it's about his well-being. And once again, just like I mentioned in my NBA Youngboy video, like what I can do for him. And like if I do ever have an encounter with him, like I'm going to think and feel the same way and have that same mentality. What I can do for him? What can I do to make his day? What can I do to make him smile? What can I do or what can I give him? What can I owe him like and if he does nothing for me I am totally fine with that um because he gave me his music he gave me his book that I read and like he gives me laughter because like when I do watch videos of him he's really funny and his personality which is everything so he already gave me like enough as far as I'm concerned so and now it's my turn and me praying for him and just wanting the best for him I mean that that's really all I can do for right now but I mean for me that's something and that's good enough and that's better than nothing but anyways to move on just a little bit I also Another video that I watched about Ozzy and his Parkinson's disease actually came from Rockfeed. And in that video, it was mentioned that he would be going on tour later this year. And that he actually has like a lot of tour dates, like according to the video and according to the list that was showed of like all the tour dates. And it's really a lot for somebody that is his age because he's 71 years old and with, you know, his condition and with his situation. So I really think that's a lot to put on him and he might want to do it. And I'm not saying that he can't do it. And I'm not necessarily saying that I don't want him to do it, but I just want him to be careful and to be wise. And I just hope that he still knows what he's doing and what he's getting himself into. And, um, and if he did need to take a break or cancel some shows... Like, I couldn't even be mad, and I would most definitely understand, but I am definitely in his corner and cheering him on, and I hope that he will continue to live for a long time and live as soon as possible. Back from this past Sunday, that Kobe Bryant, like one of the best and one of the most well-known basket players in the whole entire world, actually died in a helicopter crash. So it just goes to show that life is short and that no one is invincible. So when people say that people, I think calling somebody like a legend or an icon is one thing, but when somebody says people are gods just because they're a great musician or a great basketball player, I don't agree with that and I don't necessarily get that because as far as I'm concerned, first of all, I, so how could somebody like Ozzy Osbourne or Kobe Bryant or even me because I'm not exempt either be a god um I mean we're all human and we're all gonna have our time to pass away and that's just the way it is and that's just a part of life and also just to mention um how I first got into Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath and all that, to be honest, I don't remember, but I'm pretty sure that there was some band that I was already into or was just starting to get into. And then through that band, I found out about Ozzy and Black Sabbath. And then I started, you know, watching videos and doing research on my own. And then I even have Ozzy's book, I Am Ozzy, written back from 2009, and I've read it and I need to read it again but I own it and I read it and it's pretty good his story is a uh, nothing short of interesting or amazing and um, it's really nice to know how far he has come from his old days and his old habits of like drinking and doing drugs and things of that nature and that he's just so far from that now that he's better than that now and um yeah I think that's about it I am not into a lot of Ozzy Osbourne's or Black Sabbath's music yet but I know enough 
to consider myself a fan of him and I will get into or attempt to because once again I'm a Christian so I really got to be careful of what music that I do like and get myself into but I will take a chance on Ozzy Osbourne and Black Sabbath and see what happens and go from there and that will happen this year and I might do some videos in the future or a video in the future about it maybe but we'll see but yeah anyways that is basically like all I really have to say for this video and I'll catch you guys later and peace